Hello. Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday to you all. I hope you're all having a great day. This is Chandresa, Influencer Marketing Director at um, Even Skin. I have been hosting a few live events with um, people we have worked with, with people that have tested our devices. And today we're gonna have a discussion with Ava. She is a gorgeous woman. She has been creating content. She is a self-taught makeup artist. She is a bodybuilder, <laughs> which is very special. I know for, as far as I know, she has been competing. Um, she has been in a few competitions, but she can tell us more about this and like this whole background. But her results with that advice were amazing. So we were so happy to have her here. I'm just gonna let her in. Use this space for people to um, join us, to communicate and talk about different stuff about skincare. And um, how about you? Ask, hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining. It is so special to have you well, here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And I just want to just say this before we get started. Uh, my boys are home and they can sometimes get a little loud. So, you know, that is absolutely <laughs> normal. <laughs> so please don't worry about it. If they want to come and be part of a live, that would be special to have them here. But definitely don't think about it. Okay. I have seen a post on your Instagram today, I, I believe. Is it your birthday today? Yesterday. Or was it yesterday? Yes. yesterday. Oh, yes. my God. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you that is so special well thank you so much for making the time to to be with us um today absolutely yeah it's um thank you for <laughs> inviting me to come and talk to you yeah absolutely. i mean you i love talking to you all the time you're just so full of knowledge and you know it's it's always a pleasure just communicating uh, with you so thank you so much for sharing yeah. kind words um it's definitely um, a journey that we have been having with our devices and like with people we work with, but especially um, in the, let's say, anti-aging or pro-aging industry, we're working with um, those very advanced devices and some people kind of need to get more familiar with those. So we work with people like you to kind of talk to the audience and get to put the word out there and educate the audience in terms of like what radio frequency does, how do you get the results, what are the benefits, and you have been doing an amazing job talking about the Lumo and explaining how you got the device and the skincare routine that you have in order to benefit, because it's not just about the device, it is about the lifestyle and everything. So for anyone who doesn't know more about you and your background, maybe you can share some of, some of that, and then we can gradually talk about the devices and the things that you do. Well, I am, <laughs> I am a, as you said, a self-taught makeup artist or figure competitor in bodybuilding <laughs> and um, a mother and wife. So um, I, I tell you this, it's, it's been an amazing journey. It really has, you know, just trying to figure out what I really wanted to do with um i guess this creative energy that i have mm -hmm. and um back in 2015 i guess that creativity in me was kind of cultivated and um a very sweet friend of mine she took a chance on me and said ava i want you to do my makeup and i want you to do other people's makeup as well and i was like huh <laughs> and she I want you to get out there because you can do this and it was um it was a push that i really needed and that push led me from makeup to starting my youtube channel which focuses mainly on women that um you know to embrace mm -hmm. your age i mean you know I, it's interesting because i am pro-aging but i am anti-aging when it comes to skin and just you know your physical ability to do things mm -hmm. to to live life to do whatever it is that you want to do 
So um, it has been an awesome journey. Bodybuilding came about, oh my gosh. Um, Tell me about, just so about it. I never get to hear more of that story. I would love to hear that. <laughs> oh, it was, it was very interesting because back in 1996, probably before you were born, um, I competed in a bodybuilding competition and loved it. And, you know, life just got in the way. I really didn't get a chance to um, really go down that road. There were new divisions that were coming about and I really wanted to, but, you know, things just happen in your life. And then, you know, on down the line, there were kids and your career. So, you know, at the point where, you know, I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to do it. I'm unable to do it. And um, when me and my husband were expecting, we learned that our kids were um, autistic and we have twin boys. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of my energy and time went into them. Now, <laughs> it's interesting because it is a tough role, but you need an outlet. Mm -hmm. And I think this was the time in my life that God was like, okay, this is your time. I know it sounds like it's extremely, you know, everything is going on around you, but this is your time. Do it now. Wow. So I decided that I was going to reach out and um, here on social media, I reached out to this amazing team. Um, the girl that trained me from our first show, um, Emily Motherway and her husband, Tommy Motherway. Um, they're out of Florida, but they got me a lifestyle plan as far as a diet. I went on this diet plan. I did it for about a year, um, started training. Uh, they gave, they took me through everything, the, the nutrition, the, um, the training schedule, what I needed to do. And I did my first competition in October of 2021. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, it was, um, it's, it's just been a journey. And I was like, okay, I really do like this. I knew I would like yeah. it. So I just kind of decided that, yeah, I think maybe I want to do another show and then another show. And so now I'm getting ready for my next show. So, you know, I'm, it's just is that, something. Is that it, the one that's happening in Memphis? I think you've shared this on, a, on your video. I'm sorry. Was this one, uh, is this one happening in Memphis? Um, Actually, um, I did do one in Memphis, but this one, because I'm in Georgia now, this one is going to be in Georgia. Oh, but yes. Special. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're now in the process of training um, again for this new show. Yes. The work is almost done. We're three days out. Ah, good luck to you. <laughs> But wow, I, I mean, what I love about this is that she said yes to your needs and to yourself and you went through this. And I can imagine it's not an easy, um, it's not an easy journey. It's not an easy process to have two kids that need you. You are taking care of them. You're taking care of yourself and the whole life just gets around. There are so many situations that um, you're kind of, okay, do I need to switch? and probably just stay at home and uh, rest for a bit, but then you push yourself. And um, this is so empowering for anyone who's probably in the midst of, do I go, do I follow my dreams? Do I do what I need to do? Um, I think this is a very beautiful story for people to hear and say, okay, she made it. And not just that, you did so many other things, which is amazing because you started with makeup, you have been trying different things on YouTube as well. I mean, you are talking about fashion, you're talking about hair, you're talking about, and to know all of this, <laughs> you're gonna have knowledge. <laughs> you're talking about fashion and lifestyle. And above all, you're also like giving advices and like just having a genuine real relationship with everyone that is in there. And that is super special. So um, I wanna say thank you for sharing the story, but also thank you so much for doing all this amazing job that you do um, share online with us because I guess there's so much more that you do that we don't get to see probably through social media, but um, wow, <laughs> I'm super impressed. I didn't know the whole story on how you started um, yeah. working with shows. But, yeah. Um, after you started training, does your body change because you're also like 
doing exercises you're also doing you change your diet and the whole nutrition do you see changes in your face in your body that you were like okay how do i go with this yeah and you do um i've done two three shows so far and you know your weight it fluctuates so you're gonna have that off season where you are you know you're needing to let your hormones um, balance out, um, get back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, and I think where a lot of people get confused when it does come to bodybuilding is that they see this person on stage. It is a stage presence that you're putting out there. You're mm -hmm. doing things to manipulate your body so that the judges can see everything, you know, whatever muscle mass that you have built, that you've grown, so they can see it under lights. Mm -hmm. After that day, you you cannot sustain a stage body. You just can't. So your body does fluctuate in weight, but it can be good weight because it allows your, you know, once you go back into a reverse diet and you start training again and getting yourself prepared for either the next season or the next show, mm -hmm. um, your body has a tendency to grow because you're feeding it the nutrition that it needs, again, um, hydrating it as much as possible. But then once you start going through prep, you know, you're losing weight and you're doing things that are different than what you would do on a normal mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. So you have to take into consideration that your skin is going to be affected by I was that. Like, I can imagine with me being a woman over 50 you know I notice a lot of changes in my skin um, and I think you and I we talked about this before you know the sagging skin especially here in this area yeah. in the child in the neck um, you know those are definitely areas of concern so think if you are training for a show and you are losing the weight you're what What's the skin gonna do? Is it gonna show, and especially around this yeah. area, it's gonna start to sag, and you're gonna start to notice those things, and you know, and it's just that almost that constant, you know, fill up, contract, you know, fill up, contract. So you know, I think it is extremely important for me to have a really good skincare regimen. Yeah, um, you know, to try to keep that electricity in the skin. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much longer that's going to last, but, you know, you do have to take into consideration, um, you know, the fact yeah. that you will lose weight, you will lose that fat, exactly. uh, some good fat, and, you know, it, it may come back, it may not, but, yeah. you know, using, you know, even skin devices, being able to build that collagen in, you know, in certain areas, I have noticed it, you know, significantly because even, you know, getting down and I'm, I'm pretty lean, um, you know, I'm not, not as drawn in this area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm always going to have this sagginess. I think that's more genetic. But, you know, before it was like, oh, gosh, mm -hmm. all in here, the sagginess. And I've noticed that it is not, and, you know, with my face starting to, um, kind of narrow out it's not that droopy like skin just you know no. folding so yeah it does benefit yeah because I believe it it also comes as a result of the EMS because same as the body while you're working out your muscles are contracting and it's happening the same because when you're working out our phrase it's kind of stimulated but not enough like as it would do with the workouts for the body so when it comes to the face, like we can do those facial yogas and like mm -hmm. help the muscles move and like do kind of an exercise. But microcurrent and EMS are that contraction yes. process that the muscles need for um, kind of to have a more toned look. When it comes to collagen, then you need to use something like, like radio frequency. So then it helps the process of uh, collagen, uh, collagen building. And I think it just it just makes sense for anyone also like losing weight or gaining weight. It is very important to do those exercises on our face because usually whenever you have such changes, 
our face is going to show it the most like exactly. you're going to have hollowness here or you're going to just look a bit more um chubby probably so you need to do things that are are also going to help with blood flow to kind of keep that glow but kind of in the long run i think it would be the ems um and the radio frequency and it's funny that you mentioned that because I was looking through, um, you know, some of the things that you ask and it was like, what is your favorite, um, you know, cycle on the, the Lumi? And I was like, definitely EMS. And it's because it is the most, to me, it is the most challenging one. Mm. It takes a lot to get used to it, but the results of it is, I mean, you can't beat it. Yeah. Um, you know, and I kind of rate them like, you know, the radio frequency. I'm like, eh, okay. You know, yes, it's, it's amazing. But I mean, just how it feels on the skin. So I'm like, okay, the more that I can feel and really feel it, that's <laughs> what I really need to go with. But yeah. I also say that the cooling, oh. It's just like an ending. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. It really is. I mean, yeah. once you put that on, you've done that, you've done the work, you're feeling the effects, your face is kind of tingling. And once you put that on, it's like, oh my gosh, this is, I love it. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yes. But w w with what else do you also combine um, the Lumo? Tell us about your kind of skincare routine and mm -hmm. how did you start with it? And, um, what do you use right now to also help with um, the product penetration that also the Luma offers? But in days when you also don't uh, use Luma or any other device, how does your skincare uh, routine look like? Okay, so what I currently use is City Beauty. Um, I use pretty much all of their products from cleansing to, um, to moisturizing. And um, but to me, I think the most important thing, you know, for anyone out there who is just looking for um, a regimen, I, I used to go through so many things. I used to have a laundry list of stuff that I did with my skin. And I guess I've gotten to the point now where one, it's cleansing. Now I do use, like I said, I use City Beauty's, um, you know, cleansing system and, you know, just the whole skincare line. Um, but the cleanser, the moisturizer, and um, an SPF. Those are the, those are my holy <laughs> grail. That's what I use. And um, right now I'm a little low on my City Beauty. So I've been using Refer. Um, they have a, uh, a cleansing system and a moisturizing system. They have one that's hydrating and one that's intense moisture. So mm. the hydrating is for, you know, during the day and the intensive is during the night. And it is a very simple, very clean system. Yeah. Um, so between the two of those brands, that's what I've been doing. And to me, the, the, the simpler, the better. And more consistent. <laughs> exactly. Cleanse your skin, moisturize your skin, and apply SPF. That's it. <laughs> that is and if you don't have if you don't have any specific let's say skin concern as having acne or something that you would need to add a toner or probably a serum to kind of have a more targeted ingredient to help you treat that yeah otherwise as simple as cleanse your skin probably doing a double cleanse depending if you use too much makeup or i think i would still recommend if you're using spf a double cleanse would be best and then you moisturize seal that hydration and Yes. SPF during the day, you need to reapply SPF. Oh, that's something that everyone needs to um, remember and keep in mind. I keep my SPF around the table, so it's like, okay, I can yeah. reapply that. <laughs> so that's the way to, for me to kind of be more consistent. I have one in the back, one at home. So I need to see it so then I, I remind, I don't have a timer or a reminder that I need to put my SPF back to reapply. But to me, it's just like having it around, it's like, okay, SPF time. Um, and then this way, it is very easy to be consistent. Whenever I introduce too many things in my skincare routine, it just gets super messy. I know. And, you know, and I'm with you on that. But, I mean, I just love skin. I mean, I love it. So I'm like, oh, I want to try this and I want to try that. And you love the stuff, right? You know, the serums and the masks and the spray. I love 
think that's, and I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I am, I mean, you know, I'm a, you know, a pushover for that. And I'll just be like, oh yeah, let me use it, use it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just those basic things to get the skin that you really want. And yeah. honestly, the skin that I am in right now is the skin that I have always wanted. Yeah, amazing. And I mean, as a teen, acne. As a young adult, acne. Mm. Just dry skin. I didn't take care of my skin. I didn't wash it the way I was supposed to. And now it's just like, you know, you can't get me to not, you know, stick to my skincare regimen now. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see a comment. I'm the same way. Great advice. Absolutely. Um, Emily, is, is Emily the, the trainer? Yes, we just talked about girl. you, Emily. <laughs> yes. I was just telling them all about you, Em, and Tommy. And um, she's my baby girl. Amazing. So I tell her all the time that she is my child. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy to hear... Um, from your own experience as well, because like, yeah. it, it seems like you're doing like this healthy lifestyle, but also a healthy journey with your skincare. And to be honest, I have found a way. And whenever I'm like, I wanna try this product or I wanna try this serum or a mask or something, I'm probably gonna use it for a while and see if it fits. If it's not integrated in my routine, then I'm just gonna kind of give it to my mom or my sister. Someone around is like, I have something for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It, it yeah. gives me the space to also like try different things because I just, I just love um, skincare products and I want to try different ingredients and see how it works. But I like a simpler routine that kind of fits to my skincare um, concerns and like skin needs and all that. So I think um, I think the best way for most of the people in order to be consistent and kind of to simplify the routine, a cleanser, a moisturizer, and then you do um, an SPF. But um, yeah, when you introduced the Even Skin Lumo in your skincare routine, how was it? And how did you see the results? Um, I know you love the EMS, but was it a difficult journey? It's like, okay, where do I start? There are so many modes um, because I know it tends to be a bit confusing and you go over the manual. Okay, there's a timer <laughs> and all that, but uh, let me know how, how was your journey first? This thing right here is my best friend. <laughs> this manual, I keep it even to this day. As you can see, it is all wrinkly, but it never fails. I always go to this thing whenever I use my Lumo. I, I just do because it tells you everything. It gives you everything you need to know. And I know the first time that I received it from you guys, I was terrified. I was like, what I don't know. I was so, I was like, okay. And I was holding it and I was like, oh, okay, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. And okay, am I doing it right? It was, I was a nervous wreck. But once I started doing it, I was like, okay, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. And now I just love yeah. it. It's like, you pick it up, turn it on, do what you need now to do. Now you're a pro. <laughs> just do it. Yes. Yeah. And there are times when, um, because in the beginning I was doing it, you know, very systematically. It's like, okay, you have to do this on this day, you have to do it this day, you have to do it that day. And then I guess after doing that for so many weeks, um, I started to see, you know, really noticeable results. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have to do it like that all yeah. the time. I can pick and choose what I want to use, what modes I want to use. Yeah. So there's a time where I really want that face toning. Okay, let's do the EMS mode, mm -hmm. okay? If I'm doing, um, oh, let's not forget about the cleansing mode. Oh my goodness, yes, that one, yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, when I really want my skin, I take that, you know, makeup cloth, put it on there, and oh my goodness, yes, <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, and yeah. No matter how much cleansing you do, when you do the E and I, uh, the ion mode is like, woo, where is this coming out? Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you're constantly going like, oh my gosh. And then you're having to, you know, go to cleaner areas on your makeup cloth, you know? So, but mm, yeah. Yeah. Love, love. Yeah. I see a question coming here. Um, 
what other gel can you use uh, my skin does not like it also it dries so fast on my face if you're using the even skin conduction gel it depends on your um, skin usually I mean the conduction gel has been designed to not dry up that fast but what you can do is spray some water and then it's gonna help with the conduction because the gel is still on your face and it also has peptides and hyaluronic acid which is which is so good are great ingredients actually to help and get more benefits while you are doing the um, treatment but you can use water only if you don't need to um, you, if you don't actually want or it just doesn't feel right to use the, the conduction gel you can just like put some water on and then probably spray to um, keep the lighting process throughout the treatment and um, you can use that otherwise aloe vera gel just avoid oils and alcohol on your face when you're using the Luma otherwise um, you should be uh, fine yeah I I don't know if anybody you know they may not know what you're talking about but I've got all this <laughs> stuff right here so <laughs> gel guys right here and it is a beautiful consistency it has hyaluronic acid in it and peptides yeah look at yeah. that seriously <laughs> i mean when i use this with the device it and glide the lumo over my skin you know, and I'm not sure if the young lady, if she's um, using the conduction gel or if she's just using aloe vera. Yeah. But this never dries out on me. Yeah. And Even when I do the treatment myself, it doesn't dry on me. Yeah. Uh, what I used to do at the beginning is like do half of the face, but like I, now I do the whole thing and it just doesn't, um, doesn't dry up at all. But sometimes I probably some skin might be a little bit too dry. So maybe it just sucks the water in, but still you can just apply some water so you don't um use probably too much gel because if you're also using too much gel when you're doing the ems then you're going to feel the um, contraction even more so you kind of need to keep the balance depending also like how much uh, you can tolerate but you have been using the the, the gel and it also like it lasts such a long time it with the gel it's amazing <laughs> it's like it never ends <laughs> it is a lot of product in there yeah it's amazing but what were um i know i wanted to ask you about some of the concerns when it comes to skincare and the things that you see because also like you're doing makeup and um what are some things that we can do before makeup or what do you see that people are doing to their skin that you wouldn't suggest like it's actually not bringing us the benefits of a healthy skin but we're causing even more damage well i I think when when doing makeup to me your prep before is the most important thing um, you want to have a really nice clean base um, and when I say that what I mean when I say that is you want to be cleansed and you want to have a nice moisturizer on you you want something that's hydrating so you want your skin to be look nice and supple because once you start putting the makeup on, you're going to get that matted out effect from your mm -hmm. makeup. So mm -hmm. make sure that your face is nicely cleansed. It is moisturized. If you want to do serums and all of that other good stuff, you can do that as well. But if you're trying to keep it simple, cleanse really well and get an extremely hydrating moisturizer. Okay. And definitely you want eye cream. So once you have that as your base, um, primers are good to use because they do keep the makeup in place and keep it from, you know, just moving all over the place. So and it, it, the primers are usually there. They have more of a tacky base so that the makeup will stick to that product and stay in place. And so you don't have an issue with, you know, movement and everything. Um, but I will say, you know, obviously the cleansing moisturizer, but to me, the most important thing, please clean your brushes. Clean, mm -hmm. clean your, your brushes. You have to clean your brushes and your sponges. Mm -hmm. And if it's like, oh, it's just a little bit of makeup on, uh-uh, <laughs> clean them. Because those things carry bacteria. Yeah. And you're Put it on your face and you're just going to town oh i just clean you just clean that beautiful canvas and then you just put all of that old 
nasty makeup right back on your skin. I have and you put it in your makeup, in your clean makeup, yeah. which is nasty. So, yeah. But then, you know, when you have a situation like that, you can either, you know, make sure you clean your brushes mm -hmm. or have an excess of brushes, whichever you desire. I have so many brushes, I can't even count. But um, just clean tools are very, very important. Yeah. And if it's a situation where you're using um, a cream makeup, use a spatula. Just take a spatula and you know dip into your cream makeup mm -hmm. to keep it from being you know um just messed up mm -hmm. you know don't put a brush and swirl it around just use a spatula put it on the back of your hand put yeah. it on a palette. much easier mm -hmm. and it does it'll save you some product and um you know you'll see how much product because normally people when they use makeup um, especially cream-based makeups, they use so much. They use too much. Mm -hmm. And so just, you know, this product just gone. So those are the two things that I would say when it comes to makeup, you know, definitely cleanse, moisturize before applying any makeup. Yeah. Um, just to make sure that everything has a nice, even base and clean your brushes yeah. and your tools. I, I, I've seen some videos on the internet, like people just like doing tests on how much bacteria is on our brushes and sponges. And it was gross. Like it, it was crazy to just to think of like, whenever you're using your makeup, it's like, okay, here's my brushes and something. And then you're, you're applying, but what you're doing, you're even causing more damage to the skin. And then for most of the people, sometimes they use makeup on daily basis and then you're putting more makeup and makeup and then um, you're not giving some space for your skin also to heal and like do the right treatment so you're just gonna get even more for example pimples and probably even closed um closed comedones because of like the oils and everything trapped in so it is it is um it is crazy and it, it is a very good advice um actually because you do the treatment pre-makeup and then you also like need to take care of your brushes and sponges so yeah good one i've, I've seen so I have seen not only just, you know, clients or, you know, uh, people that are, are not professionals, I have seen professionals use some tools and I'm going, wow, it, it's, you know, it, it amazes me that, you know, anyone would want to take a brush or any tool, you know, that you've used on a, a, a client previously. Yeah. I don't know how it again. They, yeah, I don't know how they do it, for example, in fashion shows or, or like those groupy events where like too many people are doing makeup and probably the same brush is just like passing on to a new new model or a new client. That is um that is a bit dangerous for our skin. Yeah, now I have been in some situations where I've done fashion shows and um I make sure that I have so many brush I guess that's why I have so many brushes mm -hmm. and you have to buy expensive things you just buy things that work effectively I mean because yeah. you are the artist you know you use the tool mm -hmm. so you know inexpensive brushes will get the job done so um, it's, it's just a matter of making sure that you have the um, you have as many as you need and then plus they have all sorts of cleansers that they use to clean the brushes and a lot of times you do see where you know the brush still seems to be stained afterwards and so forth but you know for the most part i guess is to get you know the excess makeup off and whatever you know dead skin cells or whatever and i guess the tint of the makeup is still there but to me that's still uh, uh-uh no that didn't look <laughs> i'm sorry yeah. it's better to play it safe and have more brushes if you're a makeup artist yeah. and um you know you're also treating the clients right but um yeah I, I i see too many of those videos also on um social media of people like using the same uh brushes and that doesn't look good and uh for anyone who's probably not aware of this process they need to watch and like how the bacteria grows on the brushes and then you 
really realize that okay i need to take um care of this so i don't cause even more um damage but uh yeah i had a question i wanted to ask and i, I keep asking this so many of the people i am um, talking to is there any social media trend that you have seen probably um around like that you tried it it's like okay i'm gonna try this one or i'm gonna try this product and then you actually kept using or doing that because it is crazy on how many skincare routines come up on social media there's like this sandwich effect when you're using the retinol or like there's this um skin cycle or like there's so many things that come out as trends and some of them are good some of them i wouldn't recommend based on the knowledge that i have on skincare and ingredients but is there anything you have picked up that was like mm, this is good <laughs> you know honestly i haven't <laughs> i haven't I've seen, you know, some makeup hacks. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Um, but skincare, no, I haven't. Because I, I got one which was very nice in the beginning when I started using retinol and, and introducing that. It was a bit kind of irritating my skin. And yeah. then I saw this um I saw this kind of hack that you can put moisturizer first and then you use retinol and then you do moisturizer again so kind of just like to seal it and then when you're using the moisturizer first the retinol is not in direct contact with your skin and then it just helps like you get the benefits but you're not getting that irritation so that was like okay i'm gonna keep this one <laughs> in my routine so i would always yeah i would always recommend this for anyone who's too sensitive with retinols oh yeah <laughs> I'm going to keep that in the arsenal because now I, I don't ever see any skincare hacks or, you know, that I can think of. Um, but yeah, like I said, I see, you know, I see makeup hacks all the time and I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, now there are some where I'm like, oh, okay, I can see that. But <laughs> no, but that one, that's interesting. I'll have to, to keep that in the, in the book. Yeah, yeah that is, so that is a good the retinol that I have used or because I don't use it all the time, ever so often I'll, you know, I'll dip into it and, and use it. Um, it is City Beauty. Um, and theirs, they have, um, it's, it's like, like a dual pump. So on one side you pump, um, I guess the serum mm -hmm. that you cover your face with. And then the other side is the retinol. Amazing. So it's very, wow. It's very, very cool. Yes. Amazing. It is one bottle with two pumps. Yes. I'm not sure, sure I understand. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, it is a bottle with two pumps. So you pump mm -hmm. one side and you pump the other side. That is smart. Retinol. So, and, and honestly, when I use that retinol, I don't have any issues at all. Yeah. It but makes when I retinol before it was extremely um irritating drying oh yeah i know yeah it, it, it's it's that for mo that's the case for most of the people when they're introducing because once you get kind of used to it now i don't need for example to use a sandwich um kind of method all the time i, I use it like some of the times but otherwise in the beginning it was such a nice way to kind of just introduce retinol in my skincare routine and it just works so fine. And, and then I was like, okay, not all of the trends on social media are that bad because in the <laughs> beginning it was a bit too scary. Like you would see like those um, AJs and BAJs, like people leaving it on for more than, I know it was one from the ordinary where you're supposed to leave it for 10 minutes and people were like leaving it overnight, which is crazy. Like what you're doing to your skin, oh you're killing it. <laughs> and then I was like, no, no, that's a no, no. But um, there are some things that are actually very good and more sustainable and healthy to to our skin so um yeah hmm anyone let me check if there's any question for anyone um joining or who's new here we're talking about um skincare we talk about makeup and ava's journey on her skin uh, on her bodybuilding um shows and competition so if anyone has any question we're gonna be here or let's say a few more minutes yeah. because you know <laughs> we keep talking about skin and it's like just the time flies by but um it's always such a pleasure to speak um with you and like get to hear more from your experience and 
Yeah, I remember when I saw your video on YouTube when you were using the device and you shared the before and after photos. I was fascinated. That was amazing, like to see the results. And it was like three months or something. Yeah. Um, that, is, that is very fast. Yeah. So I, I don't know, you know, I, I, it was, I, I absolutely loved using that device. To me, it was just, um, it was like a spa day every day, yeah. especially in the beginning, you know, when you're having to kind of, you know, to do it every other day and then you do it for so many minutes and, you know, for me, it was kind of confusing because um, I think I was so, um, I guess I was just intimidated. And so once I kind of just said, okay, Ava, just, just calm down. It's just a device. It's supposed to help you, not hurt you. Once I calmed down and then, you know, I think I reached out to you again about, okay, now how long do I do yeah. this on eBay? And once I understood and it clicked for me, it was like, yeah, it, it's, it's a very, very amazing device. I love this thing. I really do. It is so yeah. good. So good. So, you know, I wish it were a miracle worker where it could just totally get rid of these things. But, you know, look, I understand, you know, it's yeah. just a part of things happen. Yeah. But what it has done so far for me, just um, just a lot of the plumpness that I still have um, in, in the, I guess probably within the 12 weeks, 13 weeks that I have been dieting, mm -hmm. um, you know, from my face being a little bit fuller to being a little bit more narrow, it's not sunken. So to me, that says a lot about yeah. this device. And that's what I had been using um, that I wasn't using prior. Mm -hmm. That to me is the difference. Yeah. And before, you know, and honestly, if I were not using this, then I could definitely see, you know, that, you know, sunkenness. Yeah. And to have all of this at home, that is kind of yeah. what fascinates me the most. This yeah. is why it makes me so um, passionate about skincare and beauty tech. And I love researching about this because I get to learn every time I learn new new things. And it's amazing to see like how those technologies are safe for at home use and you're getting this benefit for a fraction of the cost for compared to like a clinic. Um, treatment and it's amazing like you get to see the results yourself you get to create your own schedule and kind of fit when it, and it's like yeah. you get to be more flexible with it so um you have a show you need to treat your skin like you're doing the things with your body you're exercising and doing everything and then you need to do kind of a treatment or an ems let's say um muscle treatment before a show that is perfect like i get you get to grab um the the Lumo and do the treatment, which is um, a perfect example. I saw a question, what device are you referring to? We're uh, referring to the Even Skin Lumo. I guess you have the device there. I have my very close here. So this is the device we're talking about. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it is a radio frequency device uh, base and it combines also some other modalities such as um, EMS, which helps with muscle uh, toning it has LED, it has sonic vibration, and it has a cooling mode, a product penetration mode, a cleansing mode. So there is a lot that you're getting out of um, the Even Skin uh, Lumo device. And uh, um, I see a question. Can you de demonstrate some of the techniques? Uh, I don't think I can take more of Ava's um, time and like do techniques because otherwise we would have an hour <laughs> long, yeah. even more uh, type of um, discussion and just like talk about the techniques and all that. But I do have an upcoming uh, live that we're doing like the whole Lumo session that we're doing live and just like showcasing how to use it, how many minutes and just kind of a demonstration because we, ha we have had those calls, like we're learning from everyone's like experience and journey. But this time we're gonna do this like live treatment so anyone could pick 
their luma up and we can do the luma together <laughs> That's so good oh i will be on that yeah <laughs> okay yeah i think it's uh yeah i believe it's um on november the 4th but i'm gonna share oh, um with the team yeah. and we're gonna share yeah. this on social media and be there it's gonna oh, be I'll super fun that as well oh my goodness yeah <laughs> we can all have a luma moment together <laughs> yeah, yeah but for anyone please if you have any more questions feel free to drop them here we're gonna repost this live we're gonna share on both um, social media accounts so um if you have more questions we can answer even after we we republish this um live um, because I'm gonna let her go. <laughs> I know you have things you, you get to get back to, but um, thank you so much for being here. It is such a pleasure and fun to speak with you and uh, learn from your experience. Thank you. thank you so much for having me. And thank you guys for joining. Absolutely, it was a pleasure to see so many people coming in here and commenting. Um, so yeah, um, I wish you all a great day and um, I'll see you again. Yeah. Bye, everyone, and see you on the next live. Bye-bye.